there were 22 countries present. Uh, that includes eight who are members of the Committee of 24, which really is not 24 anymore, there are now 29. So out of the 29 guys or countries that are represented by ambassadors at the UN, eight are in the seminar. So there was that eight and 14 other countries. And Ecuador, who is a member of the C24, but was not in the meeting in that capacity, uh, was the only one that over the lunch hour was in a corner chatting to the, the, the Spanish ambassador and then subsequently said, um, uh, I support the Spanish uh, proposal for joint sovereignty. And that was the only mention of it. I then exercised the right of reply and I, and I told the Ecuadorian that he had been absent when I had made the analysis and that perhaps if he took the trouble to read the analysis, it might change his mind. Could you sum up the main points of the message that you put across? I think the most important thing, I mean, I spoke for 16 and a half minutes in respect of my submission, and then I spoke on three other occasions again for another 10 or 15 minutes. So, you know, I intervened quite a number of times. But in effect, the most important uh, uh, proposition in terms of rejecting the Spanish position is that the Spaniard actually said, this is not about a territorial claim. This is about Gibraltar's decolonization. And although I didn't know he was going to say that, what I had already prepared fitted 100% in rejecting that. Because what I said, what Spain is, is doing, is not promoting the decolonization, but the perpetuation of the, st the status of a colony. Because if Spain and you, the committee, argue that Gibraltar is a colony and that Spain is the colonial power, and Senor Margallo has explained in a seminar in Spain that the joint sovereignty means that they would share with UK the powers that UK has, then the powers that UK has are the powers of a col or colonial power, because that's what you say it is. So what they're saying is they want to be joint colonial power. So therefore, by definition, we cannot be colonized, decolonized by having the same level of self-government we have, but having two colonial masters instead of one. And therefore, by definition, you cannot possibly support a proposal that, far from being decolonization, is perpetuation of colonial rule indefinitely, but with two colonial masters. And I think the logic of that is, is you know, something that is difficult to refute, although in the United Nations, logic doesn't count for a lot. And was there understanding of and support for Gibraltar's position? Fantastic, because, you know, they know me a long time. I, you know, I delivered the thing very forcibly, you know. They all know that I do that. But the most important thing is that I asked the rapporteur, the guy from Chile, Jose Antonio, Jose Antonio Causinho, who is a Chilean ambassador, uh, to ensure that when he drafted the report of the meeting, he correctly reflected the analysis that I had made and that, therefore, uh, that should uh, 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 obviate any risk that the people in New York would, in their conclusions about the seminar, finish up saying we, we support the Spanish position. It's not impossible that they should do it, but I attempted to make it extremely difficult. And, and there, there would be little justification for saying the seminar supported Spain when one guy out of 22 did.